class. Good morning. Good, good evening, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm trying. This is uh, very cool today. Yes, it's nice. It's, I like this yeah. weather. Yes, it's a nice night so the, tonight. <laughs> it is. I, li I like I like weather like this. Yes. Yeah. How are you, Carla? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm okay. I'm 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 fine. Thank you very much. And Claudia Maldonado. Hello, I'm back. How are you? Everything good? Um, yes, you know, before this course, I didn't have anything to do. And I okay. was boring. <laughs> but now, it's like I have millions of things to do and I don't have time to, for classes, for assignments. Ah, it's difficult. Yeah, it's true, I understand. <laughs> it happens. Uh, welcome, Marvin. How are you? Hey, hello, everyone. I am fine. I'm good. Yeah. Is that the flag from uh, Lucero? Yeah. No. <laughs> is the yeah, is correct? <laughs> All the pieces, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Oh no, that's a funny story. Yeah. I saw a meme. It was funny. It said. Um, Por los acontecimientos, el concierto navideño de este grupo de este año será sin bandera. <laughs> that was funny. I guess. I guess. Only, only right. two days, right? It's stay alive or, or, or maybe once. I don't know. Wait, was that a rumor or really that flag cost three hundred thousand dollars? I saw that on the newspaper, yes. they say that that was the cost. Oh my God, that's so, 300,000. That's it has an... a rayos. I don't know how to say that. Mm. And I don't know what else. And they strike the, 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 oh my God, that's so sad. Really, really, it's very sad. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Um, hello, Gio. How are you guys? Very, are you very, very cold here? <laughs> yes, it's it's very. <clears throat> it is cold. It's chilly right now. Yeah, I didn't want to 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 do exercise this afternoon. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, you do yoga, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am practice yoga and it's a new meditation. <laughs> No, it's not only meditation. It's very nice because um, depends the the kind of yoga do you want to practice because it's a uh, flow. In Vinyasana, there are a kind of aerobic, and you have to move very quickly. And and if you practice hatha, you have to stand for a long time, and it's very hard to do that. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> But it's very, but it's a good practice because of the rest, the, the breathing. If you have problems with anxiety, it's a good choice because the 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 breathing in yoga is um is called pranayamas. There is a um a, a, in in Spanish it's respiration yogica. Entonces it's, con, mm -hmm. it's with the stomach. It's really nice and and it can oxygen your brain. And for like, increase the energy, for decrease the, the energy in the, the body then? Depends the practice, but not mm -hmm. all the time. Because there mm -hmm. is a, another that is restorative and you can uh, ask to sleep in the practice. <laughs> because I, I, I have done that. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah, I have a sleep in, in the middle of the practice and I wake up at the finish. At the end? <laughs> At the end, yes. <laughs> All right. It's really nice. Okay, cool, nice. To what? Today I want to go pick up my um turkey. Uh -huh. 
it was real. It was a, a yes, real. Yes, I, I got it before they tell me, look, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. I got that turkey. <clears throat> it's in the freezer. And it's actually a turkey turkey. It's not a chumpy pollo. I still don't know why I got it, but all right. Mm. For cooking, if you're going to do it for Christmas, uh, the best way, um, I don't know how to say the sacarlo al freezer, it's two days before. Oh, really? Yeah. But um, you have to save it, um, not the, in it. the keep it in abajo uh, down in the in the fridge in the fridge but no no the outside because they it eh uh, uh, se tiene que descongelar solito es <laughs> mejor <laughs> okay <laughs> no sé, um, I do, don't know do, how to say do you know a good place where i can take it i can recommend my my cousin because he's he's a chef <laughs> oh, okay i can give you the contact Oh, that would be great, yeah. Cool, nice. All right, Gio, what's up? How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good, I think. <laughs> yeah, day. I'm all right. Gio, someday I want to hear you sing um, that song that, what's his name? De La Cueva Sings with Angeles Azules. Diecisiete años. <laughs> you kind of look like him. What's his name? Jay de la Cueva, right? I don't know. <laughs> you know who Camilo is and you don't know who Jay de la Cueva is? Oh. I know who is Camilo because I I have to, to watch all the programs and commercials and Television. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jay, Jay de la Cueva is from that band, um, Moderato. Mm. Moderato, I think. Is that, that's him, right? Yeah. I know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Jaime, hello. How are you? Jaime's not there. Hello. He's not there. Hello. Oh, there he is. Well, how you What's doing? up? How you doing, Hyman? Fine, fine. What's new? Is it is it chilly in your house in this moment? I don't understand the weather. What are you? Is your house is where you live? Your zone is it chilly? No, is it cold? House. It's cold. No, it's no, it's a little. No, not a lot. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's cold. It's cold in my house. I love this weather. Yeah. I love this weather. Because it's not, not it's, yeah, it's well, it's well, no half cold, but no half, I don't know, it's better, it's better. Oh, you know, class, today I watched Selena. Yes, mm. I watched Selena. And um, it was very disappointing. Everybody really? played that. No, because I mean, the story is good, but it just finished like nothing. Like there's gonna be a part two, a season two, uh -huh. and I wanted to see it when she gets killed. But um, th there there has to be a part two. There will be a part two. Hello, Ruth. Hi, teacher. What's up? <laughs> How is life treating you? Mm. What? <laughs> how, how, how is life treating you? No, uh, no I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand this. this that, that's, a, that's a way of saying, how are you? You know, hey, what's up? How is life treating you? Are you good? Yes, I am good. All right. Okay, let me share. Let me see. Do you see my screen? Do you see my yeah. screen? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 
So yesterday we were doing adjectives, right? Three. Oh. I thought we were in 2.7. <laughs> oh, yeah, hold on. Um, I, I don't remember. I'm, I'm not sure. I thought it for success. No, this is the video we did yesterday. Quality for success. That's an objective in this class. Participants will listen to a conversation where yeah, ways of giving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, the newest place in town. That's where we finished, right? Yeah. Um, why are those places famous? Where do you go? What do you recommend? Yeah. We were talking about the bars. The know. bars. Yeah. Uh, joints. The pubs. The pubs. The joints. Pubs. Yeah. Joints. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Have you ever been to Casa Cucu? Uh, I'm not. Um, no, I heard about that place, but I have. I yeah, never. I heard it too. It's nice. It's, it's, um, it's good beer, good food, but very expensive. So <laughs> it's it's very social. I think I think the owner is uh, he's a germ he's German. German. Okay, now. Giving reasons. All right. Um, let's hear the video. Please tell me if you could hear it. Hello. If you want to give reasons, you may do so by using because, since, because of, and some others. Stay, and you will learn not only the meaning, but how to use them. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the Soul Club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait. Or there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to. They mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or, it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. For. For plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well-known, popular for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun. Or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. Can you answer? To give reasons, we may use due to, the reason that, the reason with because and since. They mean okay, the same me with see. because and since is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Okay, because and since. Since. Okay, 
you pronounce the I here, since, because if you're, because since and sense is sentido, mm -hmm. but you pronounce the E there, the sense, sense, common sense, but this is since. Sense. 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 And sense and because it's like saying here is the same thing. Sense is more formal. Um, I'll give you an example. Since I love coffee, um, I like to pass by coffee shops and smell. Since I'm a coffee lover. Or I can say because I am a coffee lover. I like to smell the coffee. Since I get angry, I lost the freedom. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good example. It's an example that everybody <laughs> understands. <laughs> yeah. Since, yeah, no, but it's true. Since I got married, well, in my case, since I got married, I don't have free time anymore. <laughs> yes. When when the child when the child is become never. I get depression when I have vacations because I said, Oh my god, vacations for me is is not resting, it's it's working more. That's true. really <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, because Okay, now that you're not going to do anything, you have to fix the house. You have to go here. Yeah. Let's go here. You know, I'm always telling me, do remember where, which dia? Oh, the one that's sick. Oh, God, man. And all you want is just to spend one complete day in the sofa. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you want to fix a, a, a something in your house. <laughs> I do. I, that's what I always want to do. That relaxes me, like to, you know, fix something in my house. But... You don't have free time anymore since you're married. Yeah. Okay, uh, we got one yes. question that the sin you using the, I don't know the meaning the thing is uh, something this day or from that some that time. Yes. But in some time you use ya que. Okay, yes, but in this case we're using since as um as a reason, not as a time word. But in this case you use the same meaning. Since is more formal, it is a... Since and because, yes. Ya que es más formal. O sea, I don't know o, o, in what situation you can use um, in, for the meaning, for the meaning, in, in, in what situation you are use things, uh, like uh, with the meaning de este, and in what uh, occasion or, or you can use sin ya que. For the meaning. Because you, you're thinking Spanish. Yeah, no, no, I'm thinking Spanish, yes. 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 But, but you know, you know, the meaning, uh, since I was working in that company, I um, feel happy. Okay, but once again, remember. But, but, uh, if I use uh, ya que or something. Since okay, I because remember, since has two forms. Time, expressing time. Yeah, or expressing, expressing a reason. Okay. If you want to express time, it's like the example you just gave right now. Since mm -hmm. I work in that company, I, I am working. happy. Uh -huh. And the reason is I am happy because I work in that company. I am happy since I work in that company. Mm -hmm. Since I know that um, since I know that Ingrid works in human resources, I could ask her questions. Mm -hmm. Or because I know that Ingrid works in human resources, I know I could ask her questions. So it's okay. Um, no, but I understand your question, Jaime. But in this case, remember, sense is for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, can you give me a um, can you give me a reason with because? Because. Is a, a, a concluding sentence or, 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 or definition? Subject plus verb. Uh, give me a reason. Why are you sleepy? I am sleepy because... Because, 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 
<laughs> no se puso en la mascarilla hoy. Yeah. Yeah, because of the, 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 the face mask today. Because I, I have to... Quiero toda la mata. Every day I, I have a hard work. Okay. Uh -huh. Or a stressful work. Yeah, I am so I am I am sleepy because I work hard. Or um, mm -hmm. or because my work is stressful. It's stressful, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it's a Japanese company. We, I have to to give a, a idea every day. It's just to improve the everything. Do they work there, the Japanese people? Yes, yes. Is a, I, speak, I speak with them in, in Japanese? Yes, a little, because I, I, I went to Japan uh, 20, 25 years ago. So how to, I had have, I have to, to learn to, to, to learn is, uh, um, Japanese. What, they, what level? Hey. It's a little because uh, but we basic, mix. Basic. In my work is mix <laughs> English and Japanese. Uh, we 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 call a uh, Japonol mixes. Japonol. Japanol. Japanese. Japanol. That's another language. Spanish. Yes. <laughs> Can you Eric, say something? Right now, this, this language, okay? Eric, are you inventing right now this language? Say something. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 example, uh, the presentation. I, Jaime Maistemi Nassan, Watachi va Ricardo Romero des, Doso Yorosco, Nigai Shimas. Oi, oi, oi. Wow, I understood what you said. You said, hello, everybody. How are you? My name is Ricardo Romero. Yes, he's a license. Yes. See, I'm good. I'm you good. guess. Hey, you guess. Oh, you, excellent teacher. Hey, you guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you have. Wow, that, that's good. You have very good fluency. Yeah. It's because I, 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 I work for a 20, 29 years in a, a Japanese company. So it's, uh, we have to. to 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 uh, talk uh, in many 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 Japanese person peoples. You have to speak. Yes, I have to speak a little. And that a technician is is uh, be, is a uh, because I, I have in maintenance in, before in the maintenance uh, the, the the vocabulary is a technician. So we have to to learn some some expression. <laughs> Oh, okay, interesting. So, because of because you work with Japanese people, you know you speak Japanese. I I went I went to Japan in the states for a a, 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 a a five month there. Wow, a five month there, and then okay. Yeah, I, 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 we have to, to, to talk a, a little Japanese. <laughs> it's a beautiful culture, right? Oh, yeah, yes. I was going to ask her. Yes. It's an interesting culture. One time, one time I met a Japanese person, and he told me that the difference between Japanese food yes, and Chinese, Chinese food, yeah. he told me that, um, and it's true, now that I see it, it's true. He told me that Japanese food is more artistic like uh, Chinese food is everything mixed. Yeah. But yes. uh, Japanese food is like... Everything uh, made with rat. Yeah. Yes. Made for everything. Yes, like, it's art. They, they it's say. art. Yeah. It's artistic. Yes. Oh, Japanese is, uh, is uh, artistic. Yes, it's more artistic. Yeah. I would love to go to Japan someday. Asia, any Asia, it would be good. Yes, this is amazing because it's a, a, a modern, I, I went to 20, 25 years ago, it's, it was a, a modern a modern city, Osaka is a modern city that uh, were, for me is amazing because uh, in the United States, uh, it's not done, it's a 
in, in this in that time is uh we we couldn't see the the modern that i saw the in in, in japan I, I could imagine wow have you seen a movie lost in translation uh, yes yeah i recommend you see see that movie man it's one of my personal favorite movies. I love that movie because I love Bill Murray, but it's it's very interesting. It's about a tourist in 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 Tokyo. Watch and and of course my ex girlfriend uh, Scarlett Johansson is. is <laughs> but, no, no, but it, it's a good movie because um the director, she makes Japan like a character on the movie and. It makes you want to go. It's, it's very nice. All right. And Ronnie, okay, Ronnie gave us your, your example. Like, okay. What? Because? Yeah, because I'm married, I don't have free time. <laughs> uh, more. I'm tired because I, I drive a long time. Okay. You know also when you can say sense? Sense. When you want to be sarcastic. When you want to be sarcastic, let's say um, your partner, your spouse, or well, your husband, your wife, she spent too much money on something ridiculous like shoes. They are not ridiculous, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not the shoes is ridiculous. The idea of needing shoes yeah. that you already Needs. have. Because it's true. <laughs> I only, I think I only have four pairs of shoes. Or that's three. a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. No, and I only use one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but, uh, okay, but in, when you want to be sarcastic, imagine um, you are eating a maruchan. And your wife says, that's your lunch? Yeah, since there's no more money. I don't know where the money went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so when you want to be sarcastic that's true you can use sense or, or you say hey your wife is angry with you <laughs> when you when the people look your maruchan <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes uh -huh. no but yeah but in this case you know like imagine like I had an argument with my wife and I said, man, why, why are you buying more shoes? You don't need no more shoes. And that's not, and that, okay. So you want to be sarcastic. And when you go and eat, you walk out and come no, nothing. I, I'll, I'll just have a maruchan in the house. Why? <laughs> since, since there's no money. I mean, since there are more important things for you than, <laughs> you know. So uh, yeah, I recommend you. So when you want to be sarcastic, you can use sense. <laughs> All right. Next we have Sir. I love the Next we have the music is great. And the sentence when the clause is at the beginning it is followed by since it's fact the same although due to often has a negative connotation. Okay, because of and due to. Okay, this is the same too, because of and due to. But due to is more like for something negative. Not, not necessarily always, but it has a negative tone. Due to the pandemia, Christmas is canceled. Hmm. Christmas parties are canceled. Due to the pandemic, the economic has hit hard in the world. Or you can say because of the pandemic. That is common to use in negative uh, connotation. Uh, due to, you can use both, but usually due to, you say it more in a negative tone. Mm -hmm. you, you can say you to do to study English because it's important for business. Okay. Mm, 
It's correct. No, it's not negative. It's not negative. Because of, no, but okay, this is, look at the explanation when we use because of and due to. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great. You see, of a noun or a noun phrase. So, like I said, due to the pandemia, there will be no, there will be no Christmas party. Due to, so you actually, you know what? Due to is more like debido a. Mm -hmm. And because of, you can say it both negative and positive. I am happy because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy because of the weather, but always you, you need a noun after that. Okay. Gio, why are you happy? I'm not happy. Imagine, but when the when <laughs> you are happy, it, if <laughs> you why? are if you I, are ever happy, hey, hey, you, why you are unhappy right now? I I want to say this. Let me say with you too. Um, um, you too. I fell off a ladder. I have to use a crutch. Is that wait, wait, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? You too, I fell off a ladder. Ladder, I have to use a crutch. Okay. Hold on, please. I keep on getting, I'm sorry. I thought I had this on vibration. <laughs> But, but David, I can say due to coronavirus, uh, a lot of people die. Yes, yes. Okay, Gio, in this case, look. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jaime, that was correct. It says when, when we use because of and due to, you need mm -hmm. a noun, not a verb. Mm. So you can say due to a ladder, um. I have to use crutches. Um, so common uh, sense, we know uh, what happens because uh, yeah. you okay. you are using crutches because of a ladder. You assume, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That would be very. Someone would be very stupid if they tell you, and what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know I mean, imagine if I say, due to a knife, I don't have fingers. <laughs> yeah. You know, and somebody would say, why? What happened? Like, oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. we can use you can we can use you two in the middle of the sentence. For example, I can travel this year due to the pandemic. Yes. Um, but but in this I don't know maybe but the, the, the but, but it's but it's not thinking in Spanish. This sentence? no 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 no. Oh, we, will, okay. we will we will we uh, will read the uh, explanation again. Um, Amen. Maybe, but uh, because of and due to, this it has the same meaning, but you did in in the different way. Yes, it's what it said here. Look, and due to are followed coordinated one, not a main clause. Okay, because of and sense. Because look. of and due to, they mean the same, although due to. You see what it says? Because of and due to, same meaning, but due to has a negative canon, connotation. Connotation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but remember one thing, because of and due to is not followed by a verb. It's followed by a noun or a noun phrase. So let me try this with you. Carla. Hi. Hi. Can you finish? Can you finish my sentence? <laughs> Due to a lot of oh, no. I 
I have high cholesterol due to? Due to? Um, you have eaten too much grease. Okay, due to the greasy food you eat. Due to the greasy food you eat. Very good, okay. Very good, yeah. So uh, the doctor says I have a high cholesterol due to the greasy food I eat. All right, Ruth. Hi. Okay, hi, hi Ruth. Hi. Why is um uh, okay, Ruth? There's not going to be a Christmas party in the company. Finish it. Can you repeat, please? Yes, there's not going to be a Christmas party in the company this year. Because of the pandemic? Good. Yes. Okay, because of the pandemic or due to the pandemic, it's all right, it's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ingrid, um, El Salvador the traffic is going to be hell this few day this next few days due to christmas is coming <laughs> yeah due to christmas season yeah. yeah due to christmas season very good rosa hello hi rosa Hello, Beatrice. Are you there? Yes. Hi, Beatrice. Hi. Beatrice, uh, people say I look like Brad Pitt because... <laughs> because he's a good actor. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I am a good actor, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. That was a tricky question, um, Beatrice. You know, people say I look like Brad Pitt because <clears throat> it, it was it was a tricky question. All right, uh, Marvin, are you there? <clears throat> yes, I am. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was a a big fire in um in um Tropigas. Yeah. Uh, company, yeah. Yeah. I, I heard something about it. Yeah, what do about you know why? There was a big fire due to mm. um about what? About the, what do you say, tank bodega? A gas tank? A uh, gas tank, yeah. I, I was reading the news, right? Uh, that is uh, damage in a um, gas tank. That was the problem. Okay. So then, can you can you tell me that complete story, but with using due to? Due to. Um, so there was a big fire. Let's see. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that's a uh, big fire, and uh, due to um, a crazy, uh, crazy moment and with the other people in a uh, um, mall was running, right? No, but that, but the, cr the so crazy that, people that, in the mall uh, did not start the fire. To so a gas leak. Well, due yeah, it was to, a gas leak. Mm -hmm. uh, be wow. Due to the bad tank management. Okay, good, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. There was a fire in Tropigas due to a gas leak 
due to a gas tank exploding, mm -hmm. due to a um, accident, an accident, um, due, to, uh -huh, due to irresponsible management, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, bad controls, yeah, due to bad quality control. Very good, but you see, you never use a verb. You use a noun or a noun mm -hmm. phrase. Yeah. Okay, that's the structure. Yes. Um, Claudia Maldonado, why don't you sleep eight hours complete? Because of my baby. <laughs> Very good. I love your I love your answer because you said because of my baby, not due to my baby. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You see the difference right there? Due to, it sounds more like something negative. Yeah. And because of, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, yes. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't sleep eight hours because of my baby. Or I can say, I don't sleep eight hours due to my neighbor always singing and and being drunk. Yes. Uh, Rosa Elena, are you back? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, my, my, my brother went to the hospital with allergies. Your brother went to the hospital due to the... Okay. With allergies. Due to allergies. Yeah, he looks, he looks like a pumpkin. Llevaron una pista, tiene alergia al maní. Yeah, okay, so imagine, aquí está la, aquí okay, está la respuesta, okay. my brother's allergic to peanuts, yes, so if I tell you, it, my brother is in the hospital, he went to the hospital be, um, with allergies, okay, your brother is in the hospital due to his allergies, mm -hmm. Due to his allergy. Yes. So this is the situation. I want you to tell me because of or due to. My brother's in the hospital with severe allergies. Okay, due to his severe allergies. Can you finish the, the sentence? My brother in the hospital due to his allergies. Okay, okay, good. It's very hard to listening, uh, hearing you, Rosa. Okay, I can say my brother's in the hospital with severe allergies because of the M&Ms he ate with peanuts or due to the M&Ms with peanuts or due to the ¿Qué más lleva money? Choco bananos. <laughs> with peanuts. Okay. <laughs> Listen to this. Alex. Alex hybrid. Okay. Um, Laura, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Laura. Hello. Why is Ricardo always sleepy? <laughs> okay, tell me. No, I don't know. Why, why is he always sleepy? He said it. Ah, uh, do to she uh, he <laughs> he went to the bed late. Okay, so due to going to bed late, or due to, or because he went to bed because of. Uh, not sleeping, going to bed late, or he's um, he's always sleepy due to his stressful job. Or oh, wake up uh, early in the morning. Due to waking up very early in the morning. Yes. Jaime. Hi. How did Maradona die anyway? <laughs> You know, to be honest, I really don't know 
what what happened? So this is going to be interesting. Can you please tell me? About Maradona. Yeah, what happened to him? He died because That's of or due to? Because, 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 uh, okay, about Maradona. Maradona died because he want to pass away. He want not to continue. No, but because of. Because of, he decided not continue uh, living, Li live. So it was a suicide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, a lot of uh, news have that the, uh, today we have reading that the, he decided one year ago that the, he, 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 he need to, to pass away, he not to continue living because it's not good for, for him that they have a lot of problems, a lot of situations that they, he's better to pass away or die. Okay. But but that's not exactly the reason why he died. Or or he suicide. He committed suicide. I think that according according to the, the new read today that the son friend uh, how uh, he he has uh, telling about or that the, he he decide not really suicide that he decide uh, no decided okay yeah. I thought he died due to an overdose or due to a hit in the head yeah I read many many I I heard an overdose. Yeah. Hit in the head yeah. or intoxication. But you see, those three things are negative. So you have to say due to. Yes. So Maradona died died due to suicide. Okay. Well, that's one hypothesis. Uh, uh, hypothesis. Uh, he died due to an overdose. He died due to a hit on the head. And he died due to some, some neglect of, of the of the nurse or and the doctor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, with Maradona, any any reason is <laughs> is it's it's okay it's because yeah, it's valid because <laughs> he he was he was living on borrowed time. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what is borrowed time? Borrow? Yeah. All right. Okay, so because of and due to. So once again, it's the same thing, but due to is more for a negative statement, but the two need a noun, not a verb. And because of two. Hmm? And because of two. Yes, yes. Uh, Remember okay. with Carla, the example I gave to her <clears throat> that I told her, Carla, my doctor says I have high cholesterol because of because. the greasy food I eat, due and to the greasy food I eat. Okay. Yes, but this will never be correct. Because uh, I have a high cholesterol because of eat greasy food. Uh, I have a high cholesterol due to eat greasy food. It's not correct. Due to eat is not correct. Due to eat, no. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. So I can say, um, I like to play on tube amps because of the great sound. Yes, exactly. Okay. Because of the great sound, good. That's not a verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. I okay. Due to se hubiera ido raro because due to is like for a negative yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't like to go to gallerias due to the parking lot. Yeah. Or, or... Because you like the soccer balls. <laughs> I know I don't. I don't. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh that. yeah. <laughs> I have. I. That, that's why I don't like to go to gallerias or right. or Gran Via. No, no, yeah. uh, Multiplaza. I yeah. hate. I hate underground parking. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Alex, are you there? Hybrid. Hi. What's up? Okay, 
am here. Will you hear me? Yeah, now, now I can hear you. Hello? Yeah. Hello, please. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Alex, were you in class Friday? Yes. Okay. According to Jaime's hypothesis, <laughs> Why? Why? What happened with my internet? Uh, what happened on Friday with the class? Supposedly, you didn't pay the bill sometime. That's according to well, Ibis, it, due to not paying pay, the bills. Do you pay the bill? Good, but you see, you 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 remember this is very important. You're giving me verbs. I need a noun. Yeah. So the cl the class was canceled due because to pay, my internet. Paying the the bill. Due to no, but before me paying the bill, what happened? The class was the class stopped due to my internet. It's down. I have my bit my internet going down. Yeah. Because of not paying the bills, according to Jaime. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay, that was a good example right there, due to or because of. Yeah. Oh, here's another example. Let me see. Laura, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Laura. Why are the majority of the classes virtually now? Uh, because of uh, because of the time and because of the pandemic. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. So imagine somebody was in a coma for like two or three years and you just wake up right now and you say, what happened? What did I miss? Oh man, sit down, listen to this. <laughs> Go back to sleep, man. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine so many things you can tell them. Okay. Do you remember FMLN and Arena? Yes. Okay. They don't exist. <laughs> and now pretty much. Do you remember... Feedable, yes, they're back again. <laughs> and and on the lowest. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, but Firpo is the most descarado de todo, man. They sí. pay, they buy sí. the league y vuelven a caer y la vuelven a comprar. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you did you watch The Walking Dead? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like when when Rick <clears throat> Yeah, I, I remember that. When Remember when that, Rick wakes up? Like, yeah. In, in, in everything zombie? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That, in the hospital. <laughs> yes. That, I always thought about that when <laughs> That's how almost mm -hmm. the world <laughs> is right now. Yeah. So you tell them, why is everybody wearing a mask? Because there's um, there's a uh, pandemic going on that a lot of people have died. <laughs> okay, let me see. So that's the. So what is the reason, uh, the um, the difference between because of and due to class? or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great. What is the difference? Due to has more of a negative tone, and because of, it could be positive or negative, but most importantly, there is no verb. No part, no, huh? After the because of and due to. Yes. Please practice that because I heard a lot of people giving me verbs today. Let's do one real quick. Ingrid, why didn't, why didn't Beto pass, why didn't Beto get the job? Beto didn't get the job due to. Remember. Due to. Um, um, I don't. I don't know how. To, I I want to 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 find a, a 
a noun because due to I can due to um but what happened remember that person that you were telling us about yesterday that he hit the table yes so imagine he is Beto and I ask you hey, what happened with Beto how come he didn't get the job he, the, uh, Beto didn't get the job due to bad behavior into the interview very good oh I like that bad behavior during the interview yes I, I, no I verb. want to find a I want to find a noun <laughs> yeah no that was very good I, no was, verb. I was like a Homer Simpson <laughs> thinking <laughs> <laughs> I love Homer Simpson, man. Yeah. He's my favorite cartoon it's of really all time. Nice. <laughs> yes. I try watching The Simpsons, but you know, The Simpsons is maybe the only show that in Spanish is funny, too. Yeah. Yes. At the beginning, but of this cartoon site, I, I like it. I like to, to watch it as... Um, Salt Park. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember. Salt At the Park. beginning, <laughs> because they're very funny. They are really sarcastic. I love the, the, the chubby guy. Yes. <laughs> it was my favorite. Did you, hear, did you hear when the Simpsons mentioned El Salvador? No, I don't remember. But it could be. Uh... <laughs> no, they did, but... If you know a little about music history, you understand why they mention it. Um, the Rolling Stones were on the on the Simpsons that day. There is a song. Well, there's actually two songs, or th no, three songs that you two dedicates to El Salvador. Yeah, Bullet the, the Blue Sky. Bullet the Blue yes. Sky. Yes, and Mothers of the Disappeared. And well, and the the third is the name of the album. Rattle and Hum is dedicated to El Salvador because Bono said that when he came here, he heard a bomb. He came in 1985. But the Simpson, many history of the Simpson, predicting predicting a lot of. Uh, yeah, that's scary. Know, those apocalyptic, apocalyptic uh, I don't know. Situation. You know, whatever. you know, you know what gave me goosebumps? Do you know what is goosebumps? Yeah. Um, goose, goose is un no. ganso. Uh -huh. Literalmente aquí estoy diciendo piel de pollo, pero en inglés uh -huh. se dice goosebumps. Goosebumps. Bumps. Bumps, como bump. speed bump. Uh -huh. Bump. Uh -huh. Bump, bumper singer. <laughs> Bump. Um, the Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. When Donald yeah. Trump is going down down the electric elevator saying goodbye oh. as a president. Yeah. Like 10, dude. 15 years later, the say, oh man, that was scary. I don't know, I don't know, but for this election, that, that the president election, that the, 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 uh, Simpson predicted that uh, uh, Donald Trump now continue as a president of the United States. Well, yeah, but that prediction is really not a big surprise because... It's really, like, I don't know, but, but there are some situations that are... No, when, when they predicted Ebola, yeah, uh, the, the FIFA fraud. Yeah. Lady Gaga's show. Lady Gaga's show. <laughs> No, but when they mentioned El Salvador, it was because the Rolling Stones were playing. I think, I think it's not true. But the, I'm going to to, the, to predicting the 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 <laughs> pandemic, the, this pandemic right, right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They they, they predicted that pandemic when when the Chinese people in Amazon, yeah, on eBay, I think they were they were in, in the box. Yeah. Um, Ingrid, the Rolling Stones were on, and um, I forgot what song they were playing. And the revolution, you know, so I feel a long way. He's a long guerrillero. Viva El Salvador. But in English, he <laughs> says it in Spanish. Woohoo, Viva El Salvador. And, and it was because of that song of, of, of you two. I'm Watch going it. To, yeah, I'm going to, to, to search that, that episode. <laughs> yeah, and it had to be a guerrilla. Woohoo, he said. <laughs> 
Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So the Simpsons is really scary. They predicted a lot of things. What else did they predict? Hey, I found it. <laughs> oh, you saw it? Projects yeah. Should feel more like this. That's why you need ClickUp. With ClickUp. Did he mention El Salvador? But it's something. It's like really, really quick when he says it. <laughs> and do you know? Uh, do you know why? Do you know where the Simpsons live? Um, Springfield. Springfield. Yeah, but do you know why it's called Springfield? Mm -mm. Because a Springfield in the United States is like saying La Roosevelt. Um, you go, Houston. you go here like La Roosevelt, Avenida Roosevelt, eh, Colonia Roosevelt. You go to San San Miguel, Avenida Roosevelt. So it's a very popular name. And in the United States, it's the name most common in uh, Springfield. Um, but the, the movie, the movie was very <laughs> funny. Yeah, but if you notice, they never tell you which state they live in. Yes, they didn't. found it. <laughs> uh, there's a guy. In, in green, olive green. Yeah. With, with the, with <laughs> you saw it? It's cierto, yeah. He, he says say. it. The, he's, he's, he's dressed like a guerrillero, right? It's the Rolling yeah, Stones, he, right? The, the, let me put it. Salvador. Está, El Salvador. El <laughs> Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. It's ironic. <laughs> wow, it's raining in my house. Oh no, I left a tire outside. <laughs> no, I I <laughs> he, this is this is how I know I am getting old because I really like doing things around the house now. Mm -hmm. But I think it's an excuse for me to buy machines. Mm. So I saw this big, big tire, like for a bus, you know, and um, I saw this video that you can make holes in the tire and then, and then make it a chair. Um, yeah, it's been three weeks and it's, it's kind of difficult because I hate those videos and, and they make it look so simple. So I cleaned it and I made the holes with a drill. And I painted the tire, so tomorrow I'm going to put the 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 string, las pitas. Mm -hmm. Have you seen those tire th those tires that you can make a chair for children? Nope. Mm -hmm. And it's that that's you know that's when you have nothing to do. You you're always like, <laughs> mm -hmm. what can I invent? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Today, what, happened? Uh, what happened with your your China with the oh, injection? Oh man, everything! Oh, I hate it. It was very nice. My son, I I didn't want to go in. I told my wife, "I'm sorry, I'm not going in. I'm really, really sorry, but I can't. I'm going chicken. to vomit. Yeah, I'm a chicken. big chicken. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And uh, I was worried, and outside, I was like, ah. and my son came out normal. He didn't cry the whole day. Like he just said, my arm hurts, Daddy. And it was I, I, I thought it was gonna be worse. I thought it wasn't even bad. I thought it was gonna be a tragic, but no. It was everything the contrary. My song was very strong. Was it like to you? <laughs> yeah, and you know, I and do okay, I'm going to use a do too. I am very sleepy because yesterday I went to sleep at two in the morning due to my son's injection. I was thinking, oh my God, he's gonna cry, he's gonna cry. I couldn't, you know, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. So I feel like a zombie right now. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> and my son is sleeping, so he's good. But thank you for asking. I did not pass by the I by by the um the houses. House. There was a lot of traffic. Carla, it's crazy that 49th Street. Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, Carla, Pero, do you do you live at the end? I, I I never understood that. You live in La Ibu, right? Yes. So La Cuarenta Nueve passes there, right? No. I live I live by. No, La Veinte Cinco is no. Yes. South, south, sur, south. Okay, but. La, but, but I need, I, I live near Juanes uh, Migueleño. Okay, my question is, La 25, is, that's the main street. Is that where it starts or it ends? Ends the, the south. The north ends like by National University. Oh, okay. Because everybody just says, Dona termina la, 20, la 29. Okay, that, that's subjective. No, 29 that's, is another. 25, yeah. I'm sorry. That, I didn't say that's subjective because you don't know where it ends or starts. Hmm. You have to be oriented from, from the north. Rosales Hospital to the university is the north. Hmm. And... That's, do you know do you know how addresses start th the directions a policeman actually explained this to me once he was a a student do you know how everything works no this is interesting i mean in spanish yes <laughs> no but uh but it's the same do you know where is ground zero yes where? Um, like near and downtown, like from Palace. No, there's always in a specific ground zero. Yeah, but they, they have put uh, uh, an emblem the, on the streets. In the Calle Arce. Near no. Them. No. No. It it says it said ground zero. Oh really? Oh, Actually, the, the street they they put um on plate. Yeah, there is a plate. Where? A iron plate. Yeah. And ground zero. Where? Yeah. Mm, like in España Avenue. Mm, no. Oh. Okay, well, this is what the policeman told me and it makes sense. That El Salvador adopted the Spanish, well, when the Spanish came. And El Salvador yes. adopted the, Spani the Spaniard, Spaniard uh, way of directions. Uh, ground zero starts in Catedral. Yes, but the, the, real, the real ground zero is just like um, a but, block. But, but maybe it's true because Catedral, I heard it used to be somewhere else before. So uh -huh. if you're if you're standing in front of Catedral, this is how it works. Listen, if you're standing in front of Catedral, like to your left, is la Primera Avenida, right? La España, la Primera Avenida. The next one will not be two; it will be three. The next would be five. It's uneven. Uneven is no par. Impar. Impar. So that's all. The, the, that's how it starts. To my right would be the even. So to the right of Catedral would be the second avenida, the fourth, the sixth. Yeah, and then yeah. that's how it works. And then the streets are east to west. So if you go to San Miguel, if somebody tells you in the Tercera Avenida Sur in San Miguel, you're like, you don't know what the hell that is. So you have to go to San Miguel and start in the, in the Catedral too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm here, so I imagino que Tercera Avenida has to be the second block to the left. And that, that, that's how you find directions. Yes. So imagine, imagine, um, if you are in the 99 Avenida Sur, or the 99 Avenida, you're very far from Catedral. 
Yeah, yeah I'm not good with the directions with addresses. I can get lost, you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> en la calle Arce está, ya ven. Really? It's in calle Arce? Yeah. También yes, Catedral is just uh, like, like um, este, an icon, but it's cero. not the ground zero. Está ubicado en la intersección de la calle Arce, Avenida España, hacia There el norte. Uh -huh. Yeah, España is the first avenue, so that's ground zero. Um, ah, en because, la calle Arce, hacia el poniente. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. I really hate that people say poniente. Aquí dice, sí. Yeah, no, but hay gente que usamos <laughs> la... la, la What is Poniente? South or East? Uh, west or uh, East? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, man. I need reference points to arrive a place. Like the metric system, I like inches and feet and pies. We use millimeters, centimeters, and kilos. I like pounds. That's why, that's why in El Salvador, according to... Um, adopting the Spanish, the Spaniard tradition in every pueblo, in every pueblo, la alcaldía is always in front of Catedral. So there's always Catedral, a park, and the city hall. It's a colony style, I think. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, the, if you're giving some address in Nicaragua, Nicaragua is difficult, no? When the... I heard about that. <laughs> you know, when the uh, uh, Somoza die, when the 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 Ortega born, when the Sun Shores was, that is difficult, no? <laughs> Costa Rica too, because I, when I was working at NGO, I. I I have to send um, papers to the, the Costa Rica office and it was very funny. I'm going to say in Spanish because in, in English it's, uh, era dos casas al este, después de esa a la izquierda. Son, really? Son, son, yeah. <laughs> oh, was, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was very, very weird. Well, you know, in El Salvador, I, I um, we're very bad for giving directions because um, we always say para arriba o para abajo, aunque sea recta la calle. Dale recto, te dice. Uh, <laughs> like you can go con Malapa, excuse me, where's solo quilta? Mira, aquí vaya recto, recto para arriba y... <laughs> Dale hasta el tope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people actually think going up, you know. Well, or remember I... what I, I, I don't know if I told you once, that it's bad to say cruzar. cruzar. Because if you if you analyze, cruzar comes from across. Mm -hmm. So you can only cross from north to south or vice versa, or east to west, vice versa. But in El Salvador, we say, by la esquina cruzar a la derecha. You can't. Mm -hmm. You can't cross right. Yeah. Turn you, right. You turn right. Giras a la derecha. Uh -huh. Giras. O viras. Well, yeah, because cruzar is only norte, sur, este, oeste. The well, cross. The, once I have lost with the Google Maps. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I ended in the, in the uh, Mercado Central. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I hate? Do you use Waze? I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't use Waze because... I um, um, I stopped using it because I don't trust in ways. Sometimes uh, lie. Yeah. No, and sometimes it talks to you like you know. En el yes. pasaje Bonilla gira a la derecha hasta llegar uh, <laughs> al pasaje Renderos. It's like, dude, I I don't know the names. That's why I'm using ways. Yeah. <laughs> I in that occasion I didn't understand the intro the instructions. Because I ended for Bermeja. <laughs> oh, man. And after indicated, uh, uh, I have to, to turn the left, but it was a uh, one, one cent street. And one way. Uh, one, one way. way. Well, and after I was for the Zucker, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know where I turned. <laughs> well, the only thing I like about Waze is I actually learned my neighborhood more. 
Because when you're driving, it says, en el pasaje, Carolina. Mowbray. Oh, así se llama este pasaje. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. I lived here all my life, and oh, this is the name. <laughs> yes. Yes, and, and I, I don't know why, I well, but I was um, um, in the street, there is um, in el mercado central, abajo de Plaza Centro. <laughs> I don't know why, why uh, I... Well, in El Salvador, we have La Sexta Decima, man. Sexta Decima. <laughs> We're special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. You have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.